Hello good day viewers. In today's tutorial, we are going to look on to how to reduce fractions to their lowest terms. Reducing fractions to their lowest terms is nothing but just the idea of the lowest equivalent fraction. To reduce any fraction to its lowest term, you have to divide the numerator and denominator by their common factors simultaneously until you get to a fraction in which the numerator and denominator do not have any common factor. Now let us reduce some fractions to their lowest terms. So first we want to reduce 1600 divided by 250 to its lowest term. This is a fraction. Any number that ends with 0 can be divided by 10. And remember, in equivalent fraction, whatever number you use in dividing the numerator will have to be the same number to divide the denominator. Or if you use a number to multiply the numerator, you have to use the same number to also multiply the denominator. So in this case, since we are reducing, we have to divide. So we want to divide this by 10. Likewise, the denominator have to be divided by 10. These zeros will cancel these last digits, leaving 160 as our numerator and our denominator as 225. This is an even number which is divisible by 2, but this is an odd number because it ends with 5. But we believe 5 can go into 25 five times. So we can divide this by 5 and we have to divide this by 5. 5 can go into 25 5 times. So we have 5 here. To find out how many times 5 can go into 160, we know 5 cannot go into 1. Then we join the two digits together. We know 5 can go into 16 three times, but we have a remainder of 1. So we have 3, remainder of 1. Then you take that one here to make them 10. And 5 can go into 10 two times. But 32 and 5 have no any common factor because there is no any number that can go into 32 and 5 simultaneously without remainder. And therefore we conclude by saying 1,600 divided by 250 is equal to 32 over 5. This is the lowest term of this fraction, and both fractions are said to be equivalent to one another. Now let us take another fraction. 30 divided by 48. Remember, to reduce any fraction to its lowest term, you have to divide simultaneously. So what number can go into 30 and 48 simultaneously without remainder? We believe 30 and 48 are all even numbers, so we can divide them by 2. Divide this by 2, divide this by 2. If you divide 30 by 2, you shall obtain 15. 2 can go into 4 2 times, 2 can go into 8 4 times. Again, 3 can go into 15, likewise into 24. So we can divide the top and the bottom by 3. 3 into 15 is 5. 3 into 24 is 8. And 5 and 8 have no any common factor. So we leave our answer in this form. And therefore, 30 over 48 is equal to 5 over 8. They are equivalent to one another, and this is the lowest form of this. Let us take another one. 12 divided by 21. 12 is an even number. But 21 is an odd number. 
but we believe they have a common factor because uh, three can go here four times, three can go here seven times. So we have four over seven. We stop here because four and seven have no any common factor. Therefore, 12 over 21 is the same thing as four over seven to the lowest term. They are equivalent to one another. Let us take another one. 25, 45. Both numbers ends with five, and any number that ends with five is divisible by five. So we can divide this by five, divide this by five. Five into 25 is five, because five times five is 25. So we have five here. Five can go into 45 nine times. And five and nine have no any common factor, therefore you stop here. And conclude by saying 25 over 45, is the same thing as five over nine. Let us take one more. 4,800 divided by 16,000. We want to reduce this number to the lowest term. But if you can see um, the numerator have two zeros to the end. Here we have three zeros. These two zeros can take care of these two zeros if you divide numerator and denominator by 100. So we have 48 over 160 left. 48 and 160 are all even numbers. So we can divide them by two. Divide this by two, divide this by two. Two into four is two. Two into eight, four times. Two into one, it cannot, you join them together. Two into 16 is eight times. Two into zero is zero. So we have 24 over 80. Still, we can reduce it to the lowest term. They are all even numbers. Let us divide by two. If you divide 24 by two, you shall obtain 12. 80 divided by 2 usual of 10, 40. 12 and 40 are also even numbers, so we can divide by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 40 divided by 2 is 20. They are also even numbers, we can divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 3 and 10 have no any common factor, therefore we stop. Finally, we can say that 4,800 divided by 16,000 is equivalent to 3 over 10 to its lowest term. So this is how to reduce fraction to their lowest terms. You divide the numerator and the denominator by their common factors simultaneously until you get to a fraction in which the numerator and the denominator have no any common factor. And then you stop. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.